Hey Chaos Landers, welcome to the Chaos Land Metaverse. This tutorial is for all of the landowners in Chaos Land. It will help you kickstart your building experience. So, first of all, make sure that you are connected with the wallet that contains your land units or estates. Check which wallet is connected in the bottom left hand corner. Then, from the BitCountry homepage, click onto the Chaos Land Metaverse tab and go to the Chaos Land homepage. Then, click to enter the map. When you enter the Chaos Land Metaverse, you will only be able to activate the build mode when your avatar is located on your land. As Chaos Land is a massive metaverse, we recommend spawning directly onto your land. To do this, click on either the Land Units or Estates button in the bottom left of the map, and then to the right you will see a pop-up menu that contains the details of your land. Select which land unit or estate you want to build in and then click to view the metaverse. Click to enter the metaverse. Your avatar will be spawned directly onto your land. Before exploring, activate the build mode by pushing the R button on your keyboard. Click the hammer in the top right corner and then you will see a red highlight perimeter of your land area appear. You are only allowed to build within this red perimeter. Here, I have only entered one land unit, so my buildable area is only 10 meters by 10 meters. If you want to increase the buildable area beyond one land unit, you need to create an estate, and this can be done from the Chaos Land Metaverse map. If you have already created an estate, your perimeter will be the entire area of your estate. You can build with voxels, props, and NFTs within the red perimeter area. To build with blocks, select which texture you would like to build with or you can upload a custom texture by creating a new voxel pack. Place the voxels with a right click and then remove them with a left click. You can also change the number of blocks deployed in one click. Push the plus or minus key to change the deployment area. To place an NFT on your land, you must own it and it must not be deployed in another metaverse. Building with props and NFTs is a similar process. After selecting the prop or NFT that you want to deploy, you need to exit the build menu. Use the plus and minus key to change the size. In the bottom right, you can see the build menu. Here you can see how much bit must be burnt to deploy the asset. You can also enable collisions. Plus you can decide if you want the position to be snapped in the middle of the grid or not. Open up the advanced menu if you want to adjust the X, Y, Z positions and change the pitch, yaw or roll of the asset. To confirm placement of the asset, click to place the asset or push the left and right mouse buttons at the same time to deploy. To delete a prop or NFT, you need to open up the build menu by pushing R on the keypad and then select tools from the top menu. Here, click the asset selector and then exit the build menu. Move around the asset selector to find the asset that you want to delete and click to select it. In the bottom build menu, you can now see that you have the options to edit the position or delete the asset. Click to delete the asset. Before you exit out of the Chaos Land Metaverse, make sure that you save your creations before you leave. If you do not burn the bit to save the creations, they will not be saved for when you return. Another tip to easily identify your land within the Chaos Land Metaverse is to add a thumbnail. Here it can be easily found from navigating directly from the map. 